हेलो मेट्स वेलकम अगेन टू फेसबुक पेज मर्चेंट ने वी नॉलेज एंड यूट्यूब चैनल द नॉटिकल गुरु सो इफ इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल काइंडली सब्सक्राइब इट एंड लाइक माय फेसबुक पेज एंड आल्सो फॉलो इट सो गैस टुडे वीडियो इज अबाउट द सीसीआर ऑफ गैस टैंकर बेसिकली एलपीजी टैंकर सो बिफ my previous video i explain about the ccr of a chemical tanker and now i am explaining to you about uh, <coughs> gas tanker ccr uh, so basically when we come to uh, the ballast uh, line line up systems and ballast system it looks like same like uh, normally uh, the normal uh, tankers but the only uh, different difference which i see in a gas tanker is that there are many valves which are in the engine rooms as you can see here it is mentioned uh, bae03 bae04 so this e indicate that they are in engine room even this four number uh, tank valve is in engine uh, again <clears throat> uh, we can see the blast water treatment system uh, due to a bit of modification because it is uh, uh, retrofit not by build <clears throat> so uh, this is for the hydraulic power unit control for the opening the valves and everything and when we come here this is uh, blast pump ampere meter uh, for calculating the amperage and here we have a setting uh, for this uh, relief valve is always there in the gas tankers which is not there in Uh, chemical tanker so this uh, relief valve is used for releasing the pressure of the tanks and the setting is on 450 millibar so that if the tank pressure reach 450 millibar it will automatically open and the uh, uh, vapors from the cargo tank will uh, release to the air so in see the setting is 250 millibar and uh, in harbor it is 450 millibar normally we don't let it go up there more than this and we do re re relieveification is there so the pressure normally don't get up to this much level so next is this uh, raw system and the raw system have a different setting it is same like uh, if you see uh, this uh, fab radar system and everything so this is a display of all those system in gas tankers uh, there is everything is close uh, so you are relying on this system and there is a local uh, gauging and local uh, uh, things are there but still uh, you had don't have like unlike uh, chemical and oil tankers you cannot go and take alleging from utis and this so here different setting this is for uh, <coughs> cargo manifold and uh, booster we can change it to relieveification how much uh, compressors are running everything you can see here and then we come to there are two screens on this uh, one is on the bridge and one is in the engine room uh, here you can see the tank so there are basically three uh, three tanks here One, one, two, three. One is divided into port and starboard. Three, same three is divided into port and starboard, and two is the one center tank. And there are two tanks on the deck, which are uh, two port, two starboard deck tanks. So basically, we are loading in uh, uh, one, two, and three. In like right now, we are have loaded here propane in two cent, two tank, and uh, in one and three we have loaded butane. So basically, in gas tankers, we have to monitor the temperatures and pressure, uh, like. Uh, this propane temperature is maintained at uh, minus 41 degrees celsius whereas butane is uh, maintained at minus 3 so they remain in their liquid states <clears throat> uh, if i will go further you can see this uh, same like uh, tanker this is uh, water blast tank draft and engine tank level monitor you can change the setting for example we can change it to water blast tank and anything you want and when we go further so this is the thing which is changed here we can find a uh, glycol pump Uh, cargo compressor control which is not in the ke chemical tankers so this is the change which we will observe here uh, compressors are basically for relieveification and everything we use in the gas tank i will not go into the detail uh, and then there is a cargo pump control we have basically uh, two pumps port and starboard uh, on each tank and uh, you can start from there in the ccr and this is the whole line up diagram for the cargo operation this is cargo line number 3 2 and 1 then there is a liquid line basically in chemical tanker you will and oil tanker you find 3 uh, 4 uh, lines and grades but in this tanker we have only two lines uh, liquid 1 liquid 2 and then condensate line then vapor line 
so vapor line is used for taking vapors from the tank and then recirculating in the compressor and intercooler and then reliquifying the liquid and giving and condensed light in use uh, for taking that liquid back to the uh, cargo tanks and this line uh, liquid line is used for uh, uh, liquid discharge and liquid loading and then if we t uh, talk about this uh, uh, there is also uh, gauges for 3 to and 1 pump ampere meter gauges and then there is a booster pump uh, ampere meter a booster pump basically you can start from here and the booster pump is used when you are discharging some uh, cargo in the gas form vapor form some terminals have requirement so you will have to switch on the booster pump because then you have to pass the cargo with the heater and then vaporize it and then send uh, then you need a booster pump so boost this wrapper to the short tank otherwise it will uh, uh, not go to their tanks and then <clears throat> you can find air for uh, tank level is 99 percent 98 percent alarm and uh, this is <clears throat> the setting uh, then we have also setting here uh, at sea when you switch it to at sea it will give uh, alarm after there is a delay of 45 seconds when you are sea so that during rolling <clears throat> during rolling it will not give this this much alarms and uh, if you go further uh, we can uh, see emergency test down system shutdown system is on here and test you can test it run it uh, however you like uh, there is a control for uh, everything ESD release and everything is there uh, we go further then we can find same here inclinometer is there and <clears throat> then if you go at the back uh, we can air find a uh, gas sampling system is there and uh, with the, uh, you can check the gas levels and different and will give alarm if there is some uh, gas is there and this is radar level gauging the same uh, raw system is showing basically it is getting its feed from here so <clears throat> this is uh, the cabinet for radar level gauging so this is uh, for uh, uh, supply fans compression room exhaust fan motor room supply fan air lock supply fan for motor room so these are all controls for that this is the load indicator uh, load indicator used for the gas tankers and you can see here like uh, all tankers there is everything is there uh, tanks level are there this is <clears throat> draft and lay stability displacement everything is there other tank ballast tanks fresh water tank loading status uh, everything is there so here you can see this, this is uh, normal uh, what is the view of the sh like uh, this is uh, only center one center tank one port starboard two port uh, three port three starboard so there were only three tanks unlike tankers they are not that much tanks so this is the review of uh, all uh, gas tanker CCR and if you uh, like uh, my video kindly like it and uh, subscribe my youtube channel and follow and like my facebook page until next time see you